will have our morals, will protect our children. And we are making this law, we are making this law for ourselves, we are making this law for our children, we are making this law for the children of our children. This country will stand firm. And once it passed, I can tell you, Madam Speaker, we are going to reinforce the law enforcement officers to make sure that homosexuals have no space in Uganda. Yori Museveni fire back at World Bank. Ugandan President Yorori Museveni fired back at the World Bank on August 10, 2023, after the bank announced a funding freeze for Uganda due to the country's anti-homosexuality law. Museveni said in a statement that the World Bank was coercion and that Uganda would develop with or without loans. He also said that the World Bank was underestimating all Africans. He added that the bank was using its funding for projects to force the hand of African countries to trample on their culture. I want to inform everybody, starting with Ugandans, that Uganda will develop with or without loans. It is therefore unfortunate that the World Bank and other actors dare to coerce us into abandoning our faith, culture, principles, and sovereignty using money. They really underestimate all Africans. The World Bank's decision to freeze funding for Uganda was met with criticism from some human rights groups who said that it was not enough to pressure the government to repeal the anti-homosexuality law. However, the World Bank said that it was taking a measured approach and that it would continue to work with the Ugandan government to promote human rights and development. Serious matter. Even now I have not really fully understood it that you can fail to be attracted to all these beautiful women here or, or, and elsewhere and you are attracted by a man. That's a very serious matter. The anti-homosexuality law in Uganda was passed in 2014 and makes it a crime to be gay or lesbian. The law has been condemned by human rights groups and the international community. Museveni has defended the law saying that it is necessary to protect Ugandan culture and values. Video. The dispute between Musvini and the World Bank is a reminder of the challenges facing Uganda in its efforts to promote development and human rights. Uganda is a poor country with a high rate of poverty and HIV slash AIDS. The government has made some progress in recent years, but there is still much work to be done. The World Bank is a major source of funding for Uganda and its decision to freeze funding is a setback for the country's development efforts. It remains to be seen how the dispute will be resolved. African societies and their values. If you don't agree, you just keep quiet, let's manage our society, then we will see. If we are wrong, we shall find out by ourselves.